like these rings stay tuned for a tutorial on how to make these and enter my giveaway I'm giving away this pumpkin ring and I'm giving away the eyeball rings rules to enter this contest will be in the description box below here's what we'll need some stickers or a background image any kind of image some scissors or a one inch circular punch a bottle cap I have a few to choose from a ring base some E6000 or any kind of heavy duty glue these are optional paint glitter we're going to need some Mod Podge and our art gel oh and a brush alright so let's get started okay first we'll take out our image we'll be using this eyeball and since I don't have a hole punch I'm just gonna eyeball the eyeball get it it's a joke eyeball the eyeball just eyeball it so okay I'm just gonna peel this from the back uh, let's see I think I want the grossest part so now I'm just gonna do a rough cut with my scissors I removed the sticker from here and I measured it on I actually stuck it on the back of my cap to get a measurement of it so I already have that cut and ready so next I'll take and this is optional you can take your Mod Podge and you can put some inside here and put glitter or you can go ahead and paint the inside if you want to if not you can just leave it like it is but I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inside so let's do that I went with the green and this took about three coats it's still a little wet so I just thought about it. I think I might want it to glow a little bit so I'm gonna take some of my glow in the dark powder and my paint is still wet so I'm just gonna use one of my popsicle sticks and let me grab something to catch this powder with I use some spider web paper how about that and I'm just going to go in and sprinkle it okay so now it's dry I'm going to take a little Mod Podge I took some and put it in one of the caps that I'm not using because I don't want the dust the glow in the dark does to contaminate my Mod Podge so I'm just gonna go in real fast and loosely and you want to keep the brush fairly wet because you don't want to wipe the powder out okay so now I'm just gonna go ahead and put some at the bottom so I can go ahead and glue my eyeball my sticker inside even though it has adhesive on the back it's not that strong so I have it here I just stuck it back on the paper so I wouldn't lose it so now I'll just put it in here and center it okay so I just tested it can you see that it's glowing on the inside I like that it's pretty cool now put a top layer of Mod Podge over your image. So now that it's completely dry, I can go ahead and start putting in my DG3 gel. And you can also use resin and um, I've heard there's a type of clear glue that you can use too. I don't know the name, but when I find out, I'll uh, post it right here. So just squeeze just go around in a circular motion and I'm not going to fill this completely up I'm just going to do the first layer and let that dry for 24 hours 
and I'm just going to roll this around to make sure it's even. And it'll be cloudy at first, but as it dries, it'll get clearer. Okay, so I let this dry for 24 hours, and you can hear it's hard. And I'm going to go ahead and add another layer of the, G, the DG3 art gel. And I'm going to let this dry an additional 24 hours. This is like day two. And now that our DG3 art gel has dried, we can go on to the next step. So I'm just going to take a ring base. I have two. I'm going to use a small one. And I'm just going to use some E6000 and put a little bit here on the pad. And I'm going to just put it here. And just eyeball it. See, you know, move it around. And center it. And let that dry. I'll go ahead and paint it. You guys don't need to see that. But I'm going to paint it just so you don't see the color of the cap anymore. I might do it the green like on the inside, but I'm not sure yet. Here's my finished ring. And I put um I painted the back red and put some green glitter and then I um, sealed it with some clear nail polish. But yeah, and it glows in the dark. And um, that's just one of a few rings that I've done. Here's another one that I did with the same little stickers. Uh, this is a pumpkin, kind of wicked. And I painted um, the back black and sealed it with clear nail polish, put the back on there, the ring. And around the edges here, I went in with some orange. And on the inside, with some black. And here's a couple of other rings that I've done. These are bottle cap rings that you can buy at um, Michael's. I forgot how much I paid. If you don't want to go through all of this, to, you know, if you don't want to make it from an authentic bottle cap, you can buy these from Michael's. And this is a galaxy ring, and this one glows. And actually, I've done two of those. They glow. And this is what it looks like. Can you see the name? It says Fashion Caps. And it comes in a set of four, one, two, three, four. But you could do that if you don't want to, um, if you don't have a ring base for your bottle cap. So there you have it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below. Thanks so much for watching.